Uh, well, I thought the offense did an unbelievable job uh, to be able to um, to be able to play against a team that understands option football, like Air Force does. Uh, obviously, Cole didn't play. Uh, Br got hurt fairly early in the first half. Um, I thought it was an unbelievable effort uh, by our offensive staff and by number five, Casey Carrier. I've seen a lot of games. Uh, that, that kid played as hard as any kid I've seen. And um, I think uh, those guys deserve a lot of credit. Uh, same thing with Air Force. You know, there's going to be a lot of good battles over the next few years. I, I've got great respect for them. Um, there, there's there's going to be some good New Mexico Air Force games uh, coming up. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, when your first two quarterbacks are out of the game, it hurts you. But I thought, you know, we knew going in, we had a plan with Casey at quarterback, a Lamar at quarterback. Uh, you know, we get it down to fourth and three at the end, and um, um, you know, they they ran a blitz that they've been running, and we kind of got ran into the teeth of it. But um, you know, I thought it was a heck of an effort uh, by our kids uh, overall. Br's uh, injury. Concussion. Yeah, early in the first half, he got sacked, and um, you know he was dizzy. Um, it's a shame, you know, because the interception really hurt us. You know, we were in control of the football game, and it's first and ten. Uh, you know, not only is it an interception, but it's a touchdown. But to the credit of this team, uh, that was a pretty good dagger put in us. And then you go in there at halftime, and you find out Br isn't going to play. Uh, then they go up by two scores. So this team, um, uh, again, didn't tuck its tail, uh, didn't try to run out of the stadium and hide, kept fighting, and we had a chance to win the game. Uh, did, they, did they obviously move the ball better in the second half? Did they, did they change much? Or? No, again, just the speed. You know, they, um, I'll tell you, they've got some quickness. Uh, you know, it's another example, I think, of, um, um, you know, it's not the size of the guys. You know, it's the speed and the execution and the precision. Uh, they really hurt us on some toss sweeps. You know, they got into some unbalanced formation and ran the toss sweep away from it. Um, you know, again, on the perimeter, we hurt a little bit. You know, they, they ran a, a reverse on us and cracked us, and they threw the ball up there a couple times where they forced us to make plays. You know, we are what we are, you know, but we did force, you know, really what amounts to three turnovers. One of them was on a fake field goal. Uh, but we were able to get the ball out of there twice. That's what we are. You know, we're still a team that's that's scratching and clawing to get off the field. Uh, we need our offense to hang on to it. And the plan was in place. You know, we had the ball down there with three minutes or something left uh, in, in good field position to win the game. But give them credit. You know, that they came up with a big stop, and then we couldn't get the ball back. But... Um, that's what it's like when you when you when you play the academies. You know that that's the kind of games I'm used to being in with them right there. Because of injuries, et cetera, I don't think most of us knew how good Casey was in, in, until these last few weeks. Based on what you saw in the spring, did you know that? You know what I when I first came here, someone a couple of people said they didn't think he was real tough. I never saw that. I mean, in spring ball, he's one of our toughest players on the field, and it was unfortunate that he had the hamstring in camp because we said coming out of camp, he and Lamar were our two most productive players. But um, tell you what, whoever thought Casey Kerr wasn't tough needs to reconsider, you know, because he, I'll tell you, the play he made on third down when he caught the screen was one of the most unbelievable catches I've seen when they had the late hit. Um, you know, it's when everybody in the stadium knows number five is going to carry it, and number five carries it, it's impressive. I don't know how many yards he ended up with. He had 220 at the half or something. 338. He had, he had 338 yards himself rushing with a team that in the second half couldn't throw the ball. Uh, the kid deserves a lot of credit, as does our offensive line. Agree? Big ass. Thank you, guys.